Our spotlight story tonight is about how the new executive director is doing at the Port of Moses Lake. Reporter Jeff Chu spoke with Jeff Bishop about his new job and upcoming projects. Jeff Bishop is taking over the executive director's post at the Port of Moses Lake during a time of great industrial expansion. Work began Wednesday on utilities infrastructure for the $8 million, 65,000 square foot hangar where Aerotech will test commercial Mitsubishi regional jets. The port was recently granted a state community economic revitalization board loan of $500,000 for water power and sewer utilities leading to the new hangar. Bishop said the Aerotech hangar will have a design like no other. If you look at most of the hangars that you'll see here at Grant County International Airport, they're all one dimension, they're like big boxes. It's designed to be able to handle the nose in one end and the tail in the other, and the tail is much higher and, and uh, oddly shaped. So it'll be a unique structure when it's built, and it's very efficient, so there's not a lot of wasted space in it. So that was the thing that struck me about it. And while the initial customer is the Mitsubishi uh, regional jet, the design of the hangar is so that they can look at other aircraft in there as well. So Boeing uh, would be able to use the facility in addition to Mitsubishi. In addition to the first privately funded hangar built at Grant County International Airport, several other industrial expansion projects at the port facilities are underway. Aviation Technical Services is building an aircraft tail dock on the port hangar it uses for aviation maintenance. The dock will include a retractable hangar that can expand to accommodate a large aircraft. Other projects include the parking lot and facilities upgrade at the Genie Hydraulic Lifts plant. FedEx Ground Delivery Services is also expanding. Bishop pointed to a project underway at Boeing's port facility where a Boeing 787 is now being retrofitted for the Museum of Flight in Seattle. Bishop hopes to bring more industry to the port. Well, there's no question this whole facility is underutilized, but that's also one of our, our, our strengths. Uh, one of the... Um, key attractions for Mitsubishi was the fact that the airspace is rel relatively uncomplicated here and that will be a cornerstone of one of our marketing uh, efforts for, for the airport. Bishop said he believes he's a good fit for the Port of Moses Lake. He said he has a great deal of experience in economic development as well as industrial and real estate management. Bishop worked in the Maritime Industrial and Fishing Port of Coos Bay as executive director for seven years. At the Port of Pasco, he worked with the director there managing the Tri-Cities Airport. The new port executive director said he looks forward to marketing the Port of Moses Lake and Grant County International Airport. The, the aerospace industry is growing. Uh, it's one of the few industries globally that is solidly growing. Um, we're going to continue to work on trying to capitalize on that. And it provides certain advantages to aerospace companies that they just can't find in other locations. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. And we'll be right back after this.